Hello friends, welcome to Technologic. I am Akshay and today we will talk about struct type and struct field. So this is a very important concept in Spark because the most difficult part in uh, building any data warehouse or data lake is uh, to have a good idea about your data. And the data is actually defined by the schema you can infer from it. And that is the dif uh, difficult most part of it. So if you want to infer everything from the data, so then the sample of the data you received for inferring uh, the column names or the column data types, that can be misleading because the entire set of data what you are going to receive is on the 2 years or 3 years or 15 years of uh, range. So every day you receive some new amount of data and if you want to infer them, so then that will be a drastic change over the period of time. So if you looking at the sample of the data, if you see all the columns is having integer values, but in the when you go into the production and you receive some data which is alphanumeric, then your inference will be wrong. So, you should define the schema for your data by profiling it somehow and like create your own schema. So, you need to have your own definition and not to infer everything from the data itself. So, first thing is like the column names. So if your data is not having any header or then you need to looking at your data you cannot it's very difficult to infer the column names because that address field can be your work address can be your office address can be your home address can be your permanent address can be your present address so there are so many factors deciding it so uh, like you need to define your own column names that is the struct field and you need to define your own schema so that is the struct type now the next thing is like how much structured data you are going to receive so your data can be fully structured like a rectangular data divided into lower column or it can be a semi-structured data given in the form of JSON or XML. So that can be a nested kind of structure. So that also you can define using the struct type and struct field. So a nested kind of schema. A good example of that is like your name. So your name can be nested in your first name, middle name and last name. So in that way you can define a fully nested schema you have that kind of structure in your data. Let's see all these things with some example like how you can define a schema using the struct type and struct field. The struct field can have multiple data types like string type, integer type, decimal type, long type, so and struct type as well because you can make a nested kind of schema structure as well. So all the struct field is struct type is a combination of struct field and the one struct field can have another combination of struct type of multiple struct field. So that can be a nested structure. Let's see with some example. First we will see what is the schema you can define on the top of your data. Next, we will see like you have one file, then how a schema impact the like what you infer from that file and what you define. How can be that different and how can it impact your data from the processing through the transformations. So, I will take one uh, data set like you can say sample data. So that will be a list of some data 
like two records one is some numeric and second thing is some string and this is my second record so if i have this list and i want to create a data frame from this sample data let's see what happened so spark is my default station and I created one sample data frame. Let's see the schema. So that schema is having underscore one and underscore two as the column name and long and string as the data type. If I display the result, you'll see the same thing. So now, if you want to give some uh, column name you have want you want to define and if you want to change this data type and want to have your own desired data type let's see how you can use the structure or the schema like you can write sample schema is equal to struct type and struct type is a list of struct field and that will have like the column names so i will have like column one and then I will have the data type like here I can say this integer type and then I will have is this column nullable or not so I will say yes it is nullable so it's true so let create another struct field because I have two columns here And then in this case I will have string and this is my column 2 but if I want to compile it it will say the struct type is not defined so you need to import it first from the Python library so from PySpark dot sql dot types import struct type and struct fit let's see what happened so you see integer type is also not defined so you need to import the data types also so if you have integer type and it's a string type because these two we have used so i need to import them as well and then some spelling mistake so now it is good so you have defined your schema now if you want to use that schema you just need to write sample schema schema is equal to sample schema so now see you have two columns and this data type is changed from long to integer and if you display the data it is also displaying the same column names so now in the second part of this story if i 
want to have a, f a file as csv read into a data frame so let's see a file like mask data so that is the mask usage county wise data and that data i have read using the spark.read.csv option and i have taken header is equal to true so this i have as the mask data and if i just show you what is the content of this data frame so i just you see that it is giving me the county code and these five parameters what is the percentage value of it county wise but in the data type like if i just display you that what is the schema then i will check and see that the data type are string for all the fields but it's not a string data it's a decimal data right so that is also a very good point to have your own schema so let's define it first and then use it this is my schema so i have defined everything else as decimal type you can put 10 after decimal points or any any number you want but this is what i defined for this six field and the same way so yeah you remember so whatever new data type you have defined for any field struct field you need to import it first so i have like decimal now it will be good to go yeah so mask usage is my schema and i need to use it here schema is equal to mask usage and now you see this data type is changed and if you want to print schema you can see that this is now with the correct data type as well and if you display the data you see the correct data if you put it as string you cannot do any kind of aggregation operation right so because that will not work on your uh, like string data so now you see the data is correct the column names are correct and the data type is also correct now the third part of the story the nested so if i have employee data and you see the employee names are given in three uh, different fields like first name last name and middle name for some cases so if i have data so employee data is a list and each of them is like a uh, field of it so if i have data like this i will have the nested structure if i just create a data frame so employee df is equal to for dot create data frame and i have data is equal to the employee data So you see the column names are not defined because you have not defined any schema but if you see the structure you can see that it has like the nested structure so if i just do the employee df dot print 
schema you see this is the uh, structure taken or inferred from the data itself so now if you want to define your own schema then you can define it like this i have already defined it and you can like this struct field name is having the struct type of first name middle name and last name that thing is actually missing here so it's underscore one and then underscore one underscore two underscore three so if you just display the data So you cannot see the data in any a particular schema. So the column names are not defined and you see this is a like the dictionary given inside this column one. Now if I define the schema like name is divided into the nested structure first name middle name and last name and then in the name we have id gender and salary. So if I have this kind of schema and use it here like before schema is equal to employee schema then you see the column names are proper and the data type also defined as per the, uh, the schema defined. Or the struct field defined. So now if I do the print schema I will see the same result and if I display the data I will see the same thing like name and then first name middle name and last name are defined. Thank you so much for watching this video please stay tuned for the next video as we are going to cover uh, more very interesting topics in SPAR and I will make you ready for the toughest picture interview question. Thank you so much.